So as you're laboring towards movement, making disciples and equipping leaders, and God brings you these fruitful fourth soil people that are just being abundantly faithful and are beginning to see the kingdom multiply uh, through their efforts. It's important that you, know, you have the, the three-thirds time of them with going through either a training church or going through the commands and long-term discipleship, and it's really good to get out in the harvest with them. But there'll become a point where they are going to really need some, some leadership tools, some training. And so we've been using uh, what we call Timothy training. And again, we're, we're utilizing the, the three-thirds format. And uh, the way we've done it is we, we carve out about two hours, and we start off by doing it weekly. And uh, for the care part, we're just asking how everybody's doing. And, uh, but then we also add a time of uh, questions and learning. Just asking, you know, what questions do you have related to the work? Or what is something that you're learning that's significant that's related to the work? And we typically do the Timothy training, if possible, with, with two to three people because um, they begin to learn together in community. If you've only got one, one-on-one's great. Uh, but if you've got more, uh, two to three is what we found an ideal size for a team. And so it's a good size for Timothy training. Uh, then for uh, the accountability, we have them share an update on their obedience to the goals that they set. And during this time, we're setting goals specifically related to strategy and their team. And then for the vision time, we're asking them to share their concise, sticky vision that they're wanting to see multiply downstream in their area, their community. And for the, the lookup portion for the new lesson, there's several things that we're doing here. For our baseline, we're really wanting to dig them into the Bible. Particularly in, uh, we'll start off with, with Mark 1 and discover the, the four fields and the five parts of Jesus' strategy in Mark 1, verses 14 to 39. And then we'll look at the journeys of Acts 13 to 20. And then we'll also begin to go through the epistles to begin to look for Mark 1 and Acts 13 and even uh, Luke's gospel. We can see the, the process, uh, this four fields process. And I'll tell you in a minute the discovery tool we use. Um, but in the epistles, we begin to solve problems and learn from the problems that these church starts encountered in the Bible and what were the solutions that were provided. So this becomes our baseline of starting with Mark 1, going through Acts 13 to 20, even going through Luke 18 to 20, and then getting into the epistles. Um, but it's also a time to look at the Field 5 leadership tools. Because sometimes we'll show up and based on what we're hearing in the care, the question, learning, it's clear that they need a leadership tool like the five levels of leadership or the filters for faithfulness or uh, some of those types of leadership tools um, that we don't find specifically in the commands in the 411. And it's also a good time to do what we call iron on iron, which is a problem solving uh, group coaching tool. And we do this about once every three months, about once a quarter. And then if there is a tool to practice, you obviously want to practice whatever if you introduce an, a tool. But then we're moving on and we're setting goals uh, more specific to uh, the strategies. So what are some action items related to your strategy? You know, we'll typically finish up the, the new lesson time and just say, hey, what did you learn? Any takeaways and what are your action items? And then we want to spend some time in prayer. So this is our basic format that we use for the Timothy training. And again, it takes about two hours is what we're using uh, just because this questions and learning can be really rich. And we need about a, a good hour together to, uh, to dig into the Word together. So let me explain to you what these discovery 
uh, hermeneutic tools we're using to discover uh, Mark and the Gospels and then with the epistles.